beating the buzzer. That is how the Florida Gators roll. This is how we roll on CBSSports.com. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Joining me on the other line, Gary Parrish. Gary, you're a busy man this time of year. Hey, it never slows down. You just try to keep your head above water, make it till April, and then take a deep breath. Well, you are doing a great job of it. In the last two games for Florida, Nick Kalathis, Walter Hodge have taken advantage of that final possession in the first half. They've won 12 of their last 13. Is that telling? Does it continue? No, it is telling in that um, they're very good. They're not going to lose many bad games, and they racked up, they're racking up wins. Uh, you know, sitting here at eighteen and three, the problem becomes when you look at their body of work. What have they really done? Their best win might be against Washington. You know, they, they you know in this stretch of games, they they won at Vanderbilt. The Vanderbilt's not very good this year. They beat Georgia the other night, but Georgia just fired its coach. Uh, they got a win over Arkansas. That looked good when it happened, not so much anymore. So again, it's eighteen wins. The record's in, insane. But uh, there's not a whole lot there. Only one top 50 win, according to collegerpi.com. And, you know, Tennessee is no cakewalk. They lead the SEC 80.8 .8 points per game. How much of a factor will Tyler Smith be in this game? He's got to be a big factor. I mean, he's been, I don't want to say struggling lately, but he's been a little bit of a disappointment. He's supposed to be a first-team All-American caliber player, and he hasn't done that uh, yet. Last Saturday on CBS, he had a chance to win the game against Memphis and, and missed the shot. Um, Tennessee struggling. You know they lose to Memphis, then follow that up with another home loss to LSU. They've also got a home loss to Gonzaga and Kentucky. This is a team that was ranked preseason top ten and had a roster with Tyler Smith, Wayne Chisholm, Bobby Mays, Scotty Hobson that looked good on paper. They don't play games on paper and on the court. They don't look that good at all. They do play games on the court. You know you often hear whatever team takes care of the basketball is going to win. The Florida Gators dished out 22 assists to seven turnovers against Georgia. Will that continue, Gary? No, because playing Georgia is, is uh, playing Georgia. That's why Georgia fired their coach the other day. Um, they, they didn't have many players there. Look, they're going to go into Thompson Bowling Arena. It's going to be 22,000 people. And Tennessee, though the Vols have not been playing well, as I pointed out, it's still a roster that is capable. They've got athletes. They've got a lot of athletes. Remember, this Tennessee team is a team that, that beat Georgetown earlier in the year, that beat Marquette earlier in the year. They've just got to snap out of this funk, whatever it is they're in. This is, uh, is going to be a tough game for Florida, and, uh, but it's more important for Tennessee. Florida goes there and loses, fine. They walk out. They're still 5-2 and two in the league, 18-4 and four overall. No big deal. Tennessee loses. They're down to 3-3 three and three in the league, 12-8, and eight, and suddenly now we're talking about them the same way we talk about Notre Dame as one of the most disappointing teams in America. Much higher stakes for Florida. they got to take care of the ball. Donovan sounding a little bit like Coach Urban Meyer, isn't he? All right. But when you look <laughs> at Florida's bench, they got protection all the way down, down the bench. What does Tennessee do to stop it? You know, just – I know Bruce Pearl had gotten away from the pressing, uh, uh, you know, defense, sort of the staple of his coaching style because he said they were giving up too, too many easy baskets. But they don't score well enough lately to, to beat people uh, straight up. I think they've got to get back to, to playing what is Bruce Pearl basketball and Tennessee basketball and hope that that's good enough. Keep in mind, he's got a winning record against Billy Donovan. You know, he would go down there when Florida was winning national titles two years ago and, uh, and, and handle them pretty well. He has a good track record against Florida, and uh, if you're a Tennessee fan, you've got to hope that continues on Saturday. Absolutely. Gary Parrish, thank you for your time. We appreciate it as always. Thanks, Lauren. All right, and thank you for watching. I'm Lauren Shahadi. See you next time.